Hey everybody, JJ here with another medical lesson for you. Uh, in today's lesson, I'm going to talk to you guys about abduction and adduction of the fingers. And I'm also going to teach you guys uh, the muscle groups that actually perform these functions. And I'm also going to teach you guys some clinical tests to actually perf to actually test the uh, these muscle groups as well as the nerve that supplies these muscle groups. So just to begin, what is abduction of the fingers? So abduction. What is abduction of the fingers? All it is is just moving your fingers apart. That is abduction. So um, remember guys, abduction is just moving your fingers apart. And that's actually performed by the dorsal interossei muscle group. Now adduction or adduction is just adding your fingers together. And that's actually performed by the palmar interossei muscle group. So again, abduction by the uh, dorsal interossei muscles and then adduction by the palmar interossei muscles. So what's an easy way to remember the muscle groups that actually perform these functions? Well, um, it's easily remembered by the mnemonic DAB pad or D-A-B-P-A-D. So D for dorsal and then A-B for abduction. So dorsal interossei muscle and then pad, P-A-D, P for palmar interossei and the AD for adduction. And see, it's very simple once you know that, uh, actually that little memory trick. So the first clinical test we can perform is we can actually assess the strength of the patient's dorsal interossei muscles by getting the patient to abduct their fingers while we apply resistance. So you can get the patient to actually apply abduction while we apply pressure or resistance against their abduction. So this is um, just a test to just to assess the patient's dorsal interossei muscle strength. Now we can test the patient's adduction or their palmar interossei muscle group by getting the patient to adduct while we uh, place a ruler or a sheet of paper in between their fingers while they adduct. So you can use a sheet of paper and you can try to pull it to see to test their palmar interossei strength. Now the last thing I want to teach you guys is that both of these tests actually uh, assess ulnar nerve function because the ulnar nerve actually supplies both the dorsal and the palmar interossei muscles. So in both abduction and adduction tests, we those tests both assess ulnar nerve function. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.